Rays win 9 to 3 in the first of a three game set at Fenway against the Boston Red Sox. They won and going away. That's great. It was actually kind of reminiscent of the 24 run game that we had last time we were in Fenway, where a lot of those runs came with two outs. That's what happened in this time. The Red Sox were unable to get the third out to get themselves out of the inning, and the Blue Jays just kept on adding runs. It was glorious. It was great. Ross stripling through six excellent innings, striking out six, only one earned runs against. He was great. Phelps had one bad inning because they left him out there too long, but otherwise, he was great. Great, great. Everything was great. It was absolutely great game. Everything is great, great all the time. We should just win like this every single game. Let's win every game 9-3 to three for the rest of the season, shall we? Good, great, good meeting. No, the only thing we really need to talk about here uh, is... Uh, I, how, I don't know how many times we're going to have to do this. What do you do with Yusei Kikuchi, man? Like, what are, you, what are you supposed to do with him? I. It's really too bad that... The impulse with any kind of poor purchase or any kind of like poor hiring, and this is at every level in every field anywhere, is all right, you've invested it, you've got like the buyer's remorse situation happening, but you want to get something out of it, right? You want to find some way to justify the expense. So like you start searching around for any kind of like something you can do, right? Like, okay, you've bought a lemon and it's not great, but can it like hold pencils or something? Work with me here. So like we have this impulse as fans and I guess as managers of a baseball team too, you don't want to just hand Yusei Kikuchi a check for the remainder of his contract and say, don't let the door hit your ass on the way out, you say, because we don't want ass prints on our new door. No, you try to find some way to use them. So at this point, a uh, low leverage reliever as a mop-up role seems to be the thing to do, which is absurd. You're paying a guy $15 million a season to do that for the next two years after this. Oh, it's ugly. Anyway, it feels absurd to be paying a guy to do... Plus, it's like, it's, you gotta pay him to do something, right? It's either that or, like, scrub the toilet. So, uh, do this. But he can't even do that. Like, the guy's out here, like, just throwing seven balls in a row. Uh, you know, accidentally throwing a strike here or there. But for the most part, just absolutely not competitive. I guarantee you that the Red Sox haters came up being like, I'm just gonna leave this bat on my shoulder here. And then take my walk to first base in a couple seconds. I'm gonna tune out the part in the middle, because it does not matter. So, what do you do with him? What do you do? I mean, I... Surely to God, there is someone in the Blue Jays system, whether it's Zulueta or Younger or <laughs> Julian Merriweather is apparently coming back. I've heard distant rumors and drums in the dark of Nate Pearson making an appearance. These are names from Blue Jays lore, but the, maybe they're real. Maybe they can come back. But if and when they do, I mean, then you're only getting two more roster spots in a couple weeks. And only one of those can be a pitcher. So at some point, you got to say there's a better use for a roster spot than having Yusei Kikuchi be your lo low leverage mop-up role that he does poorly. Like, surely there's a better use for a roster spot than that, right? There has to be. And it's a no-win situation for Ross Atkins here because if he pays Yusei Kikuchi to go away, that is absolutely an indictment of him and his offseason where a large chunk of the work they did in this offseason, I mean, bringing in Kevin Gosman, that was really good. Bringing back David Phelps, that's turned out to be really, really good. Uh, trading in the midseason for Mitch White and uh, Bass and Pop, I mean, that those apparently look pretty good. But the uh, really big piece of your work in 2022 was signing Yusei Kikuchi to this three-year, $45 million contract that is immediately terrible and unusual. If you pay Yusei Kikuchi to go away, that is an indictment of you and your work, and that's not good. But refusing to admit the obvious that he's not able to get Major League hitters out on a team that has ambitions of winning the World Series this year... To just leave him on there for pride or spite or whatever it is that you're doing it for, that's an indictment of you too, man. I mean, at some point, you have to cut bait and admit that you made a costly mistake, but you made a mistake. you got to try to fix it and move on. Leaving him there to fester, that's not fixing it, and that's not moving on. That's being stuck. Right now, I feel like we're stuck. So yes, did I find an opportunity to complain about a 9-3 Blue Jays win that was never in doubt from like the third inning on? Yes. Yes, I did. I'm impressed, too. Uh, Jays win. That's great. Jose Barrios is back tomorrow based on his previous outing in New York. That might be great. Uh, the offense seems to love hitting in Fenway and has for a long time. That continues to be great. Signs of life from Beau Bichette. That's great. Yusei Kikuchi is not great. 
But that's future Dave's problem, and I don't really care what that guy has to say about anything. Thank you very much for watching this video and for watching this channel. Like and subscribe, etc. if you haven't already. I will see you tomorrow for the second of a three-game set in Boston. Jose Brios versus TBD, probably Cutter Crawford. We'll see about that. Have a good one.